Alright, so I got the new version of Unity. Uh, the beta version that was released today includes the new UI. So we're going to give that a shot. This is the quick little prototype I made of my moddable NPC idea. And I figured I'd go ahead and add in some UI. So here you can see there's a whole set of UI options. Let's go ahead and add in a panel. You can see that the first thing we see is this massive, massive panel. I haven't done any of this before. It's all completely new. Uh, so we've got this massive panel here. And I actually don't know. It automatically created this canvas element. I don't know how this massive panel works in terms of whether it shows up on the screen or it's in... Okay, so this is definitely linked to the camera. Um, so to delink it from the camera... Here it is, screen space overlay, turn that into world space. And now when we hit play, there should be a giant gray wall. Up oh, there it is. It fades out as we get close. That's kind of cool. But obviously it is vastly, vastly the wrong size. So uh, you can see how width and height here are in pixel scale, at least in theory. But we have this uh, scale system of 111. I don't know whether it's better to reduce the width and height or to reduce the scale. Uh, I think it's probably best to reduce the width and height. Let's go ahead and make it 2 by 2 and we will put it at 0, 0, 0. And you can see that this is now a panel in the ground rather than um, whatever it was before. We can move it up here and turn it. And now we have a panel floating over our uh, guy. But you can see that changing the size to 2 by 2 was the wrong call because it is 2 pixels by 2 pixels which is definitely not what we needed. So we are going to go and change this to 1024 by 1024, and we'll change the scale to 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Not small enough? OK. 0 0.005, 0 0.005. Oh, 0 0.002, 0 0.002. There we go. And the height will change this to 512. There we go. And now we've got a little readout. Although it's not reading out anything at the moment. So if we hit press play, you can see that it's floating over his head. But it's not actually attached to him. Let's go ahead and name this person1 canvas. And drop it on our person1. Oh, looks like we put it over the wrong person. No biggie, just move it. Now when we hit play, it moves in real space along with the person. I think there are other things we could do with this. For example, we still have it set to world space, but I think we can set it to some other kind of thing where it would remain pointed at the screen the whole time, but I'm not interested in that at the moment. Uh, worst comes to worst, I can always put in something that the camera tracks. Um, what we need to do is add in a text. There's our text and you can see that it is oop, backwards. So that means that this whole thing is backwards. Let's go ahead and flip it around. There we go. And you know what? I think that this is probably still too large. Did I screw something up? I screwed it up. I'm still not 100% sure what's going on. I'm operating with no instruction manual or anything. So I'm just kind of playing around. You can see that the text has fallen off the side. And that's because it is anchored. Oh, it's got a position. Let's go ahead and change the position to 0, 0. And you can see that it is anchored kind of in the middle, but it's not a centered piece of text. So the text actually floats in the upper left-hand part of the text box. Uh, so we can change the anchor point to the upper left, like this. But that doesn't change where the text is. That just changes where, that, where it will be when we resize the canvas. 
So if we were to change, uh, we're resizing the panel, resizing the canvas. Uh, not sure what what goes on, but now the anchor is offset from the corner, and you can see that the position changed. So that's one of the ways you can control it. Now that it's offset from the upper left, if this size changes, it'll remain offset by that much. Um, let's just move it up here. And let's call it something like person stats, clay person stats. Let's go ahead and make it bold and increase the font size to 20. Eh, 26. There we go. And you can see that this color is not black, it's gray. If we change it to black, it'll be a little bit clearer. And um, wrap truncate uh, width. Width is. Uh, can we change the scale using the scales dragger? Oh, wait! This button, this is what I like. This allows you to change things using this very, very simple drag system rather than having to uh, keep switching between moving and dragging and rotating. This handles all of them. You can also see that it handles the anchoring. So I can actually change the anchoring by dragging this, but I'm not going to. I'm not sure what these are. No, I guess they're they guess are just indicators to show what the bounds of the window are. They don't actually have any function. We're going to need to create a script to actually handle this UI. So clay person display And let's drop it onto this text box. Oh, come on. And open it up in Mono Develop. That was interesting. Well, whatever. My NPCs are called clay people, that's why I called this what it is. So here, what we're going to do an update is we're just going to, for the moment, we're going to... Uh, oh, uh, what type is this? Um, text. Is it just text? Or is it... I think it's probably just text. There is no text. So what is this? It's not a text. It says it's a text, but it's not. It's... Oh, you know what it probably is? It's probably just that this is an old version of MonoDevelop. Alright, let's try it again. Clay person display. Because I didn't close MonoDevelop when I was installing, so it probably was just running off of the old version. And hopefully, at this point, it has updated its... I can't see! There. When I get that error, I know to close it and reopen it. All right. Still no text. Let's see what this has to say for itself. Uh, yeah, there it is.
I forgot. It doesn't have any advanced output capabilities. Well, I have no idea what that loud uh, sound was, but I didn't cause it. It sounded like it was in my room. I bet one of my downstairs neighbors is being uppity. Oh, I bet I have to install... I, okay, I have to use the UI. That's fine. That is easily done. I just go up here and say using system... Uh, sorry, just using Unity Engine dot UI. There we are. Now I bet we have the text. Always remember Or is it I can't remember where that parenthesis go parenthesis goes. I think that's right. We'll know for sure soon. So then we say text dot text equals uh, target dot name plus some carriage returns plus target dot stress. Oh, did I do all of that in play mode because I'm a giant idiot? Brilliant. So he's BIP1, but I don't see... Oh, you know what? I have to expand this vertically, don't I? Come on, I, I don't want to expand it horizontally, I want to expand it vertically. Where's my vertical expansion? There? No, that's vertical movement. No, oh, this isn't even the text, is it? No, it is. Uh, do it manually. Uh. So I know that there is better way a, a better way to do this. I just don't happen to know what it is at the moment because I haven't. You've literally seen everything I've done. Here you can see the stress is increasing. Now we'll just copy this person one canvas and stick it on person two rename it to person2 canvas and uh, drop person2 into the specified target. Of course it isn't in the right place. No problem, just stick it over here. We could refine this further Did I make that a, a... Where's my furniture list? Yeah, protected. Let's make it public. is Twitter. That is what I need. Alright. So let's hit save, let's hit play. There we go. Interestingly, you can see that this has already detected a bug in my code. This bug hasn't had any actual performance problems um, because uh, each behavior only gets pulled once. But you can see that uh, the um, Oh, I fell off. You can see that the debug already shows that I'm adding the same piece of furniture several times to this furniture uh, system. Oh, target. That's the problem. I'm just being an idiot. Sorry. 
I wasn't detecting a bug in my furniture system, I was detecting a bug in my brain. There we are, that's better. So here you can see the furniture they're assigned to, their current stress, their name, and it's that easy to get running. So this beta, I give it a A plus for ease of use already. Um, get to it. Start using it, everybody. I want to see this sort of stuff everywhere. That's it.